So what I wanted to do was to take the result of an SQL query, put it into a multidimensional array, and then be able to sort that array any, any way that I liked at any later time. Don't ask me why I wanted to do that. I just did, and you might want to too. Now, I found this difficult to research, and I looked all over the internet for a straightforward way of doing it, and the internet was not offering any straightforward answers. But eventually I did manage to piece it all together, and here it is. So where I'm starting from is my database table, just here. So I've got a table of fruit. I've got apple, tomato, banana. The apple is green and costs five cents. The tomato is red and costs three cents. The banana is yellow and costs four cents. This is the way I like my fruit. Nice and colourful, nice and cheap. So I'm going to sort this in the array. Of course I can sort it in the query, of course I can do that. But in this case, I don't want to. I want to leave the sorting till later. So let me explain this page here, what I've got. This is my database information, which clearly I don't want to share that on YouTube. That wouldn't be a very good idea, and I recommend that you don't do it either. But that's where it is in there. So this line here is my SQL. So I'm selecting asterisk from test sort, which is the table just over here. Asterisk means everything, so it's going to get all of the data in that table. And this is where I uh, actually enact the query. So I've got get fruit equals my SQL query con wp, that's my connection, my da database connection come from here, and SQL, which is coming from this line here. So that's logical. And the next thing that you would normally do is you'd use a while loop to display the results of your query. But in this case, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use the while loop to put the results of the query into a multidimensional array. So this is just the normal while loop. It's while row equals my SQL fetch array get fruit. That's get fruit from up there. And so what I've got here is the array get items row ID. So as it, as it uh, loops through the rows, that's going to increment from one to two to three. And it's going to make an array and it's going to assign fruit from the, the row, sorry, from the column fruit. The row is the row that it's working on at the moment. And that's going to be the column that's uh, coming down. Let me just put that over there so you can see it a bit better. And it's going to assign color from the, col the column color, and it's going to assign price from the column price to there. And as it goes through the rows, that's going to build up the array. So you can think of this as the horizontal direction of the array. And as it loops through, that's going to create the vertical dimension of the array. So this line here is where the magic happens. And what it's going to do, it's going to choose a column. So I've got these columns here to choose from. And it's going to sort it based on that column. So this is tricky to understand. And if I said I understand, understand this perfectly, I'd be telling a little porky pie there. But it does work. So let's see it working. Oh, just here, print R is the mechanism that we use to print out an array so that we can see it, something like this. Echo pre, uh, that's just so we can see it clearly on the screen. That's not an important part of it, and that just closes off the um, echo slash pre. So don't worry about the those echoes there. It's uh, this that we're going to be interested in here. So let's start off by sorting it by the name of the fruit. So I put fruit in there, and I'll load it to the server. And we'll go back on here, and I'll refresh the page. I do that, and it's sorted the array by fruit, in alphabetical order. Apple, banana, tomato, A, B and T. I could go back here and sort it by colour and refresh the page and it sorted it by the colour. The green, red, yellow in alphabetical order. And I can go back here and support and sort it by the price. Refresh the page and we get three, four and five. So that's it. That It really is all there is to it. I've taken the results of an SQL query, I've put them into a multidimensional array, and then I've sorted that array any way that I like. If I've said anything that's incorrect or I've used the wrong terminology anywhere, please correct me in 
the comments because all knowledge is good and I'd like my videos to be as correct as possible. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Good luck with your sorting.